All right, so today we're going to be going over a machine that is not turning on. Now, the interesting thing with this machine is it actually does turn on if you just plug in the charger. One thing to realize with this machine is that if you plug in the charger on any of the Core i5, Core i7 models from 2010 and up, they automatically turn themselves on if you just plug in the charger. Now, it's not turning on when you just hit the power button. So let's try to think about why that is. Let's try to think about how it is the computer knows that you hit the power button on these models. So if we were to go over to the keyboard connector, what you will see is a bunch of different signals. And I want you to think, again, as we do in all these videos, all these episodes, I want you to think. Tell me which one of these do you think is going to be responsible for turning the computer on? You get 20 seconds. This, 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 which one is it? If you guessed it was WS keyboard on off L, then yes, you are correct. This is the power button. When you press this, it is going to short this to ground. This goes through R4810, which goes to SMC on off L. SMC on off L is a signal that goes to the SMC, which is the system management controller. As you can see, if you simply scroll down over here, it'll say SMC at some point. And when you short SMC on off L to ground, SM the computer knows that you hit the power button. So SMC on off L is pulled up by a pull up resistor to 3.3 volts. As you can see over here, this is 3.3 volts. And you can see that you have R5170 pulling that signal up to 3.3 volts. <sighs> Yawn. Now, when you put the power button on the keyboard, when you hit the power button on the keyboard, that signal will be short to ground and know that you turned it on. And that's going to be on pin 5 of the keyboard connector. Now, if we were to look in the microscope, if we were to look in the microscope, you would see that... If you were to look in the microscope, you would... <coughs> if you were to... Piece of fucking... If you were to look in the microscope... <laughs> Hello. Anybody home? <laughs> you fucking piece of shit capture card. All right, are we good? Are we rolling? Are we rolling? Yeah, okay, now you're... Oh, of course, you're banding. See, when I move it really fast, you get lines, but... What are you gonna do? I'm not buying new capture hardware for any time soon. Anyway, so this is the keyboard connector. It's funny, like, I finally got lighting for the apartment. I Because I found these light fixtures in the basement. Found these light fixtures in the basement. So I figured I might as well use what I already have. I bought some bulbs, and it's like, right as I do that, something else breaks. It's like, no. No, I'm not spending money again. Nice try. So this is pin 5 of the keyboard connector. As you can see, it doesn't look very nice. You have pin 5 of the keyboard connector right over here, and you have a line going to here. Now here you have a look, a nice, healthy little gold thingy going to the other side of the board. Healthy gold or copper thingy. Healthy gold or copper thingy. Healthy gold or copper thingy. Fucked gold or copper thingy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try to work our way in there and just try to make a nice connection to the other side of the board. We're going to try to revive that connection, and I'll show you how. What we're going to do over here is we're going to do a little bit of scraping. We're going to do some scraping with some flux. So we're going to do some fluxing and some scraping, then some fluxing and some scraping. We're going to get our way into the other side of the board, and then we'll see if we have a working keyboard. Working keyboard connector. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this iron to heat up. It's all nice and heated up, and go. Can we get through to the other side of the board? Look at the other side of the board. And let's just fill that hole right up. Let's fill that hole right up. So we're going to do this. Nice fresh solder with some nice fresh flux. Oh, is there anything more beautiful than a hole with fresh solder and fresh flux? I can't imagine. Okay, so 
We'll go around the side and do the exact same thing. It's going to dig and dig and dig until we can get to the bottom. Now, if you're talented, you'll be able to get a wire in there. If you are talented, it will be very, very easy for you to just put some battery wire in there and get from one side of the board to the other. That's if you're talented. I am not, so I'm going to run a nice ugly wire because I'm, I suck. So, just in case that didn't work, which it probably didn't. It may work, it may not. Eh, I don't really feel like trusting it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an old set of nasty looking tweezers and I'm just going to scrape way a little bit over here. I was going to put a wire from one side to the other. What do you want from me? I'm not talented. I'm not the great Jessa fish. Only Jessa is the great Jessa fish. So, the pyramid reballing and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I suck. Oh, well. But. Uh, This could have been done so much neater. Could have been so pretty. Let's get right into this. See if we can make this neat. I would use the micro pencil, but I think Jason, Jason always has two of them on his table and I always have zero on mine. I don't think that's fair, but life is not always fair and you're just going to have to deal with it. So we do this. This would be much easier with a micro pencil. Why does Jason need two micro pencils? Somebody tell me why Jason needs two of these things. I think one is just fine. Right, so we're going to do this. And I'm going to secure it down over here as well. Might as well. Now we make a grand old trip to the other side of the board. Oh shit, which one is it? <laughs> hmm. Oh, on the top, it's the bo top one and the third, which means in here it's going to be, when I flip it, it's going to be the bottom one. Right? And the third. <laughs> I want one, one way to find out. Uh, I'm not good with this short term memory stuff. Yeah, it's because it's going to the resistor. See, it's got to be this one. See, this is the one kill ohm resistor that was in the schematic in between keyboard and SMC on off L. All right, so there we go. And just for, and again, just, just for the hell of it, we can also terminate it at the, at the resistor. Just for the hell of it, we can terminate it at the resistor as well. Just for that extra, extra bit of OCD. So we do this. Now we can lower the wire for even more OCZ, make it per OCD, make it perfectly flat on the board. Did I just say OCZ instead of OCD? Wow. I can't believe I named... Why did I name a, a company that sells scammy, poor, shitty SSDs instead of OCD? All right. I got that, and there's... I don't know. Pin 4s. It works. It did beep. 
It does actually work, but man, I don't like it that much. All right, fuck it. I'll run that wire as well. It works, but it just it looks nasty. Every key on the keyboard does work. That does work, but man, I don't want to leave that looking like it does. It's gross. Get pin four next. Alrighty. Let's get a wire for pin four, shall we? Do a little bit of scraping. And we'll be good. Oh, that's too much exposed wire. Let's cut that a little shorter, shall we? All right, so we're just going to take this and cut it a little shorter. There we go. Man, this would be ten times easier with the micro pencil. Why am I torturing myself? Why don't you just get up, you lazy bum? Like, the amount of shit that I will do to get this to work with the wrong fucking iron, rather than simply get up and just get the other one, like... I talk about this shit, being in shape and being in shape so that when you decide, you know, oh, I have to walk across the room to do something, it's easy. And it's like you do all this effort, you do all this work to get in shape to where running four or six miles doesn't make you exhausted. You can lift weights for an hour or two every day. And it's like, what, what, what the, what the, what's the point of all that shit if you're still a lazy bum? So not the iron for this. Alright, that is soldered on though. We do got a connection and now we go to the other side. So this is the bottom second one, which means when I turn it upside down, it'll be the top second one. You just run it along the same way we ran the other connection. Make sure it's a nice taut wire. Oh great. Oh, great. <laughs> That's nice and close. Ah, well, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Watch and just watch and learn. Watch and learn. Watch the master idiot. Watch the master idiot. There we go. And that's looking a little bit too Hershey's Kiss for me. He's going to do this. We can move that back in a place to where I want it to be. This obviously has to get ultrasonic and all that because this is. That's just too much flux. Even by my standards, that is too much flux. We got our two wires in place. I was gonna... And if, if, if you're smart, what you'll do is you'll figure out a way to fit a wire even smaller than this through the board and just solder like that. I'm just missing a wire that's that short, so I'm working with the magnet wire I have. This is 40 AWG. And this is pretty much as small as my wire gets. I don't have anything smaller than this. But if you did, you could just poke a hole right through the board. So let's see if this actually works. All right, so I cleaned off the board a little bit. I, am gonna, I got myself a keyboard just so that I can test and see what's going on. I just plugged it in. It's off. I'm going to hit the power button. And with any luck, it turns on. I said I hit the power button, and with any luck, it turns on. You piece of... Oh, well. Hey, you can see the light. You heard the chime. And, yeah, not going to keep it on without a heat sink long enough to get to a question mark. But 
that is it. And you can see a little bit of what it looked like afterwards in, in here. It's not exactly the what I would say the prettiest thing in the world, but we're going to cover it up in green stuff so you won't be able to see it anyway. Uh, let's see. Can you see that? Do you see anything? I don't think you see anything. I think that my microscope camera froze again. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? Did you freeze again? <laughs> Did you fuck up again, you piece of crap capture card? And we're back. Let's check out what those beautiful wires look like in their soldered by an idiot's glory okay look at this let's just lift this up a little bit and we're just gonna make that look a little bit less like i i did it <laughs> so we're gonna just do a little bit of this greens green stuff green stuff green stuff And I'll take the board out and give it a little bit some a little bit more. <laughs> you want some more? I'll give you some more. Wow, the, it sounded a lot like this Frank. I'm trying to think. What Frank Zappa song does he say something that sounds just like that? You want some more? I'll give you some more. Is it Montana? Is it Dynamo Hum? Uh, was something on that album. I forget the name of the album now. Crap. What Frank Zappa album had the song Montana and Dynamo Hum on there? Uh, Montana was such an amazing song. You have that, that, that part where they're singing about the dental floss. Uh, just, it was just, I mean, the, I know it sounds silly that they're singing about dental floss, but the actual, just the, the construction of the song is out of the song structure. Everything is just amazing. But also what I really liked about that song was the, um, it was just this, like, ah, da 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 dental floss. I mean, I'm, I'm ruining it, please. But, but, you, you have to go listen to it on its own. It's, it's fucking amazing. Frank Zappa died too young. He made amazing music. I didn't like all of it. I mean, there, there was some of it where I just listened to it and I go, what the hell is this? But man, he was good at what he did. But yeah, I, I, Montana was such a good song. I'm in the middle of Montana. Good song. All right, so we have our, our wire here. And, yeah, we just covered it in some green stuff, so it can't really, eh. Yeah, I could have just drilled a hole through the board, but this works. What do you want from me? It's nice and flat with the board. It's going to where it's going. Green, the reason I like green is people say, oh, well, you can see the green pen. The first reason I like the green pen over the black one, this is a CircuitWorks CW3300G. Yeah, it's set on face focus. What if I make this my mustache? Here, will you be able to see it? Here, focus on my face. There we go. Now focus on the circuit works pen. Ah, uh, this is too close to my mouth for comfort. Anyway, I really should have just turned off the fucking autofocus. What I like about this, the black pen, firstly, it doesn't flow for some reason. I bought it and I, I was like just trying to jam the, the stuff out of the pen. It wouldn't come out. The second thing I like, while black would b blend in with the board and give it a more professional look, green is scary. This tells people, stay away. Be careful around this. Don't touch this. And that's the exact effect that I want this to have. I don't want somebody looking at this going, oh, is that really there? Is that a part of the board or is that some lick? Oh, I broke the wire off. I want them looking at that and going, damn, that is not supposed to be there. I'm not fucking with it. That's what the green stuff is supposed to be for. And it does a great job of it. So that's how we fix this board, and as always, I hope you learned something.